Welcome to my Secret Place Devotion with Oyix Alfred. The Word of God is alive and equipped to change your life. Good morning. Welcome to a new week and we pray that the angels of God will go ahead of you in the name of Jesus. For the Bible says to us in Psalm 91 that God will give his angels charge over you to guard you and to keep you in all your ways. Thank you, Lord for the ministry of angels that have been activated over your people today in Jesus' name. Amen. What exactly is the role of prophets in getting direction from God? It's a very vital question because a lot of people seem to depend on guidance and direction that comes from men of God or prophets or ministers or whatever. So you find people who have issues and rather than go to God, they would go to a person and say, oh, I have these three people who want to marry me. Which one should I marry? Or I want to make a decision in terms of the kind of job I should take. Or I want to relocate to this place. Or what do you think God is saying about this or that? So that's why the question is vital. You need to understand if God actually speaks to his children or gives direction to his children through prophets or ministers or other people. Well, the answer is yes, it can happen. God can give some sort of direction to you through the prophet or through a minister or through a pastor or somebody who is spiritual. However, I will give a huge, huge clause concerning that. But let's go to the scripture. Now, if you do a study of the Bible, you notice that in the Old Testament, everybody depended on guidance that comes from prophets. So when people had inquiries to make, they would, you know, talk to the prophets and the prophets at the time will use what is called the Urim and the Tumim to get direction for the people concerning what they were asking for so if you had an inquiry or you want to ask god something you go to a prophet and he will tell you what it is that god is saying he did speak to one or two people you know but primarily the way that god led people was through the prophet that was in the old testament for instance if you read from first samuel chapter 28 verse 6 he gives us a clear direction on how god communicated with his people so the bible says concerning uh Saul, he said he inquired of the lord but the Lord did not answer him by dreams or by Urim or prophets, indicating that these are the ways that God would typically answer someone. He will either answer by a dream or he will answer by an Urim or he will answer by a prophet. Like I already explained, the Urim and the Tunim, they are instruments, they are on the priest's breastplate. In those days, God will ask the priest or the prophets to wear a particular garment, it's called the garment of a priest. On the breastplate side of it, the chest side of it, there's something called the Urim and the Tunim. Now, these reflect, they are like stones and they reflect and change color so when someone makes an inquiry they will use the urim and the trim and you know be able to give some sort of direction to the person so the bible is telling us the three ways that god typically speaks in that first Samuel 28 verse 6 he said it's through dreams or through urims and through prophets and of course you see a lot of people that god spoke to directly he spoke directly to abraham he spoke to all these other guys but these are the primary ways that God speaks. You see that in 1 Samuel 28 verse 6. But now in the New Testament, if you do a study of your Bible, you notice that the dynamics of God communicating with his people tilted significantly. It changed drastically from the way God spoke in the Old Testament to the way he spoke in the New Testament. So in the New Testament, you will notice that God speaks more through his word and through the inner witness. These are the two primary ways that God will speak to you. His word is constant. is all always there but then the inner witness helps you to be able to deal with things that are not necessarily in the word i'll give an example the bible didn't really tell us where to go and live so you need to depend on the inner witness the inner witness or the inner signal is a signal from the inside like a red light signal or a go-ahead signal that is in your spirit man that is how god gives you direction about what to do or what not to do you probably need to listen to the devotionals in the past if you want to understand more on the inner witness we dealt with that already so god will speak to you through his word god will speak to you to the inner witness more than any other way now but if you look at the question we ask does god lead people through prophets he does but let's take a look at acts chapter 21 verse 10 talking about apostle paul the bible says after we had been there for many days a prophet named agabus came down from judea coming over to us he took paul's belt tied his own hands and feet with it and said the holy spirit says in this way the jewish leaders in jerusalem will bind the owner of this belt and would hand him over to the gentiles so you see god was telling apostle paul what would happen to him 
when he goes to Jerusalem and you know that prophet will more or less give Paul some sort of direction about what to expect you know when he travels so God did speak to Apostle Paul and all the other Christians there through this prophet Agabus and in fact if you read from Acts eleven twenty eight, this same Agabus Bible tells us let me read it say one of them named Agabus stood up through the spirit and predicted that a severe famine would spread over the entire Roman world this happened during the reign of Claudius the disciples as each one was able to decided to provide help for the brothers and sisters living in Judea so the Bible makes it clear that God did speak to the church at the time through this prophet Agabus and through other people. So yes, God does give direction through prophets. If you read again from Acts chapter 13 verse 2, the Bible says, While they were worshipping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work which I have called unto them. So you see, somebody spoke through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit and said, you know, I'm calling Saul and I'm calling Barnabas for the work I have called them. So this is the clause here. Though God speaks to prophets to speak to you, God gives direction through other people to you, but you must be sure that that prophet is actually speaking from God. And the way you know is still through the inner witness. People tell you what your spirit must confirm. Your spirit already knows. So when that person tells you like, oh, this is like a confirmation and all of that, because if you read this last scripture, I just read Acts chapter 13 verse 2, he said, set apart Barnabas and so for the work I have already called them. So God already called them. They already had the inward witness on their inside that, you know, there's a work or a ministry that God has for me. And so what the person prophesying here did was basically to confirm what they already had. He didn't say, remember that the person prophesying said, the Holy Spirit says, set apart Barnabas and Saul for the work I have called them. So the prophet is not saying, I'm the one setting Barnabas and Saul apart. No, God had already called them. They already had the witness in their spirit. They already knew. But this was like a confirmation of what God was already saying. So that's the clause or the, the balance you need to have concerning God. God speaking to you through people because people have got into so much trouble because they've depended 100% on one prophet said something or one pastor said something. Whatever anybody tells you, you have direct access to God. In the New Testament, you don't need a high priest anymore to talk to God on your behalf. You go to God and say, Lord, this is what this person said. I would really appreciate if you can, you know, give me an impression in my spirit or give me clearer direction. You are my father. Please speak to me. Give me direction so that whatever the prophet or pastor, whoever is telling you is a confirmation of what the spirit of god has already put in your spirit i hope that that is clear now let me tell you something really powerful that is happening is a night of power what is the night of power about it is a night where god comes to demonstrate his power over sickness over disease over stagnation over dry spiritual life over any situation that does not glorify god in your life God wants to show his supremacy over anything that has plagued your life and your destiny. It is a session where the power of God is literal. The fire of God is literal and it just changes tremendously the lives of men. So night of power is happening in the month of November and the date is the 26th and the 27th of November. Time will be 5 p.m. GMT plus 1. So that means if you're in the U that will be 4 p.m. You just take your coordinates from there. The venue for the physical address is um, the Oak House Church 112 Commercial Avenue. It is off Harvard Macaulay Road in Yaba, Lagos, but you can join online. Uh, for those who cannot make it physically, join online on Instagram. The handle is Weeks Alfred. You can join on YouTube Live. The handle is Oak House Church. You can join on the free conference call app. The handle is Prophetic Virtual. You can also join on Mixler app and the handle is Live edge so you have no excuse for not being part of this life transforming program thank you god bless you remember god loves you so much nobody can love you as much as god loves you for other life-changing messages you can now download the app rev or Yik speaks from play store for android phone users or apple store for ios users you can also follow us on instagram youtube and telegram all on the handle Oyeks Alfred. <laughs>